So do you find offense to this? Um, I might not like the colors, but no, absolutely not. And what about the other products? Ridiculous. It's getting a little out of hand. Make this fast. I, uh, I want to compliment one of Amazon's competitors. Um, and a, a company by the name of Trader Joe's. I don't know how many of you have ever shopped in a Trader Joe. They're big in California. Unfortunately, sadly, almost tragically, there are no Trader Joe's in Puerto Rico. I wish they were. I, I love Trader Joe's, and my wife certainly does, and li love shopping there. Um, and um, Trader Joe's, somebody sent me this. Uh, Trader Joe's just put out a statement uh, to its customers that I thought was worth mentioning, because just for the statement, I think all of you should go shopping at Trader Joe's tonight or tomorrow or whatever, soon. They should, they should go on to your support. So this is, this is a statement. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to read you the whole thing. I'm just going to read you uh, these, uh, these two paragraphs, maybe a little more. Uh, a few weeks ago, an online petition was launched calling on us to, quote, remove racist packaging from our products, unquote. Following were inaccurate reports that the petition prompted us to take action. We want to be clear. We disagree that any of these labels are racist. We do not make decisions based on petitions. We make decisions based on what customers purchase, as well as the feedback we receive from our customers and crew members. If we feel there is a need for change, we do not hesit hesitate to take action. Decades ago, our buying team started using product names like Trader Giotto's, Trader Jose's, Trader Ming's, etc. We thought then, and still do, that this naming of products could be fun and show appreciation for other cultures. For example, we named our Mexican beer Trader, jo Trader Jose's Premium. And a couple of guacamole products are called Avocado's Number in a kitschy reference to mathematical theory. These products have been really popular with our customers, including some budding mathematicians. Well, they have a sense of humor, too. Anyway, I won't go with the rest of it. Basically, they're saying, we're not going to cave for you guys. We're not just going to do this because somebody signed a pet an anonymous petition out there. We make judgments about our products. Our customers give us feedback. Our crew members, our employees, in other words, give us feedback. And uh, we don't think any of this is racist or anything like that, but out. Now, very few businesses are making these kind of statements. So I think in appreciation of Trader Joe's, uh, when I go back to California, they will be, if not the first, one of the first places I go and shop and, and, and I'll, I'll make an extra effort to buy extra stuff there so that they make extra money so that this kind of point of view gets extra visibility. <laughs> and I hope all of you do. I know a number of you in California or in places like uh, Texas and other ways where there are Trader Joe's. So uh, please go and, uh, and, and, and consume there and uh, make them, you know, uh, uh, allow them to make a profit off of you uh, and, uh, and enjoy. So uh, yes, some American businesses, some, very few, standing up to the nuttiness, in this case, of the left. Which what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this 
Uh, and, and you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.